Hello again, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to the third video in this learning module. In this video, we'll examine a few overarching ideas that criticizes and advocates formal workplace learning. There are five sections to this video. We will begin with a couple of analysis questions and then examine some of the advantages of formal workplace learning. Next, we will look at some disadvantages of formal workplace learning. Then we'll look at why we may wish to reconsider formal approaches to workplace learning. We will then end the video with two synthesis questions. To help you focus on the topic, I'd like you to think about your experiences with workplace learning. Did you receive more formal or informal types of learning? What do you think this ratio might indicate about the types of workplace learning? Some research indicates that there is a growing discontent with formal workplace learning. Why do you think this is, and what do you think are some of the potential causes? There are pros and cons to all types of learning. The pros include large groups of employees will learn the same information or processes at the same time. If properly designed, the content should be accurate and up to date. Also, employees who learn through formal training programs come up to speed much faster once they start their jobs. And finally, properly designed formal training programs can include a variety of methods that appeal to a wide range of learners and conform to adult learning principles. There are a number of cons associated with formal learning, including designing, creating, testing, and deploying formal workplace learning, which is time-consuming and costly. This is reflected in the price of the course or workshop. One of the most common criticisms is that the assessment given at the end of the session does not support knowledge retention or reflect long-term behavioral change. This is often referred to as a knowledge dump. It is the responsibility of the learner to retain as much of the information that is dumped on them as possible, just long enough to pass the test. The vast majority of formal learning lack the long-term support for skills development and ongoing knowledge acquisition. Once the course is over, all you have are your notes. In a formal setting, there is usually a lack of varied interaction. Today's learners are very social, but often formal learning lacks of social engagement and often does not use media and technology to the fullest. This is because learning is trainer-centered. This chart helps us visualize the pros and cons of workplace learning. You should notice that there are more cons on this list than pros, but some of the cons could become pros if the design is changed and support systems put into place. We will look at support systems in the second half of the course. Many of the disadvantages of formal learning are supported by recent brain research. Herring found that the majority of assessments test only short-term memory and that there is a distinct lack of support. Coaching and mentoring reinforces the learning to develop the skills learned in training sessions. The second quote by Herring said that designers must choose the learning tools and features carefully so they contribute to actual learning. If you think about a typical formal training session, the trainer has a certain amount of time to deliver specific information. With this in mind, how the training is conducted, what activities are chosen, and the level of interaction all play a part in retaining the information and moving it into the long-term memory. The two synthesis questions asks you to expand your critical thinking about formal workplace learning. Why are systematic design approaches recommended? Do they always work well? What other training solutions are there? Finally, what other pros and cons of formal workplace learning can you think of? Perhaps you can think of some of your personal experiences with workplace learning and think about how you would improve these experiences. Formal workplace learning has many critics, but formal workplace learning is often required to maintain 
or obtain credentials. For CLOs, managers, and instructional designers, it is often difficult to balance the requirements of the credentials, time with the learners, and creating and communicating the required information in effective and engaging ways. Thanks for watching.